narration from the woman that loves to talk. All right, so we don't have a very good cooking or a work surface to work on, so I'm working on a cookie sheet because it's flat. And I'm going to flour my hands a little bit. I wash them from handling the dough because you don't want to have a lot sticking. Flour that puppy up, kind of make him into a little bit of a square, and then he needs to be pushed out into about an 8 by 8 square by hand. You don't need to do anything with a rolling pin. Again, you want to probably handle it as little as possible because that tends to be the rule with most floury things. Take a simple pizza cutter and I cut the dough into, I think it's, it doesn't look very even, um, 16 squares. And then you half each of the squares to make the beautiful little triangle that is the scone. And if you do this right, you can get it all done on one angle. Put them on a parchment lined cookie sheet, and these will not grow when they're baking, so you can put them pretty close together. Scotch. We haven't tried these before. They look pretty appealing. Patches is intrigued. slip them into the freezer for a half hour to let them do whatever it is that they do in the freezer and then you pop them in an oven I think 400 for 20 minutes or 425 for 20 minutes and voila.